Hey, Dr. Rachel, my name is Jermaine, and I have a question. My current girlfriend says I take too long to ejaculate in bed. I thought this was a good thing. I don't masturbate. I've always had a good and healthy sex life. I always had a lot of stamina in bed. How can I make her feel more secure? Because it seems like it's an insecurity to me. It's like she doesn't think she's satisfying me. Help me. So we have the exact opposite of what we normally have here. And this is a great question. It's basically like, she says I'm lasting too long. Help me out. So I think one thing that we got to keep in mind here is that when it comes to sex, now, it, particularly he mentioned this as his girlfriend. So this is still kind of a, a new thing. They haven't gotten married. They're not really, you know, he's not, this, is, this isn't, they are not fiancéed or anything like that. In the early stages of relationships, what, 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 what ladies like to do, and sometimes gentlemen do this too, is we are all about it. I mean, just, just, just bring out the freak, you know, it's just like we're into, you know, we want to have sex in the car on top of the car in the house. Da, 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 da. And really oftentimes a lot of that is about pleasing you because really when a gentleman lasts a super long time. So I want you to think about it like this. Think, compare your girlfriend's vagina, the, 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 compare it to your mouth, right? And I want you to think about getting a bowl of cereal that you haven't put any milk in. And then I want you to take like three big spoonfuls of that cereal and eat it. Or maybe you put the milk in it, but it, the cereal hasn't softened up, right? What you'll notice afterwards is you're like, dang, I got some cuts in my mouth. My mouth is sore. Oh my goodness. It's the same as taking like a lollipop that, that like, uh, remember those old school Tootsie Pops? You're just sucking on it. And, and maybe it hasn't gotten smooth yet, so it's cutting your mouth and all that. So when it comes to penetrative sex, oftentimes, if you're going, 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 and you're going, 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 you may not notice it, but her vaginal, her, her vaginal secretions cannot keep up with all of that. After about 45 minutes of you just, you know, entering, 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 now she's developing a little rawness, a little chafeness. So first of all, you want to make sure you're bringing lube to the game, right? I don't care whether she's 22 or 52, bring some lubricant because what lubricant does is it makes it more comfortable for her. And then you're sliding and gliding instead of, you know, kind of dragging and pulling sometimes. And so she can actually tolerate longer sessions, right? So bring a really good lube. The next piece to that too, is you want to teach her how to make you come fast, right? Because sometimes all of that, you don't want that either. You maybe sometimes you're feeling lazy. You just want to relax. So if you give her the tools necessary to make you come very quickly, then you guys won't have these problems on the days where she needs to rush off or you want to rush off or you guys just want to do lazy sex. She'll know how to help you finish quickly. So if it's something she needs to whisper in your ear, if it's chewing on your earlobe, if it's touching you in a certain way, if it's, uh, you know, rubbing herself in a certain position, tell her how to make you come quicker. And if you can't tell her because you don't really know, you're like, well, doc, I don't really know because I don't really play with myself. One of the best ways to do this, Jermaine, is to masturbate in front of her, right? Like you guys masturbate for each other. And while she watches, then she knows exactly what it takes to get there. Because, you know, everybody has that moment where you can say, okay, well, I'm ready. I'm ready to come. Let me just get there. And if you get yourself there and she realizes the tension that you use, the position that you use, then she can help emulate that. So another thing that you can do is just communicate. Just tell her, like, if you do this, hey, I'm, I'm gone every time. That's my magic button. Everybody knows what it takes to get them there, or you should. And then if you communicate to the, your partner, then they won't let, you know, you then, then things are better. The other thing is, if you feel like you are having trouble ejaculating, like, you're having trouble ejaculating with her. You're having a trouble ejaculating with yourself. Make sure it's not a medication issue. Sometimes certain medications can prolong ejaculation and it's not just a thing. The other thing you want to keep in mind too is, um, you mentioned that you don't ever masturbate or, or, or anything, you know, if you want to, you can actually, um, Practice this session out so that you actually become very clear what makes you come. 
and you guys can do this together. Because I think, too, you want to think of of sex as something that the two of you are doing together, kind of like a dance of sorts. And if you want her to be more, um, what's, what's the word you use? You said she's insecure. If you want her to be more secure, then you just got to show her what she needs to do to feel secure. Right. And then in those instances, she knows it's not her and the security grows. So I think for you guys, you're just going to have to communicate a little better. And yes, lasting long enough is a good thing, but lasting too long is a negative thing because what tends to happen too is if you last too long and and you have sex with someone five days in a row and you're lasting too long every time, well, you'll start to notice that they'll start avoiding things or making up headaches or disappear on you and all that type of stuff. So you want to make it as comfortable for her as it is for you. And the only way to do that is if you guys are communicating better. Okay. Awesome.